Hello, Taurus. It is time for your beginning of November read for this current year. Yes. How are you? Oh, okay. Taurus, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. This resonates with you. Good deal. I hate bending my cards because it always, I, don't, I mean, I know it shows use and such, but it's like they were straight before I touched them and it drives me crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you a good deal, if not, do not worry about it because it's just a card game. Just boop your nose and away it goes, right? Also, cross watch your switch where you need to because I have no idea who's doing what. I mean, I can get the feeling, um, but usually, like, yeah, sometimes I, I, even I mess it up. I'm only human after all. Also, newcomers, first reading's on the house, and I do accept tips and donations. So... You kids enjoy that. So let's see, Taurus. You have bride in a cage. That's terrifying because my sister just got married and she is a Taurus. That's disturbing as fuck. This better not affect my sister because I will fucking throw a fit. <laughs> <coughs> I think she's a Taurus. I think. I don't know. I gotta check that shit. I might be completely fucking wrong, honestly. I should know. I know her birthday. Let's see. What number are you? 21? 21. Bride in a cage. The moon phase is waning crescent. Stage is denial, much like the stages of death. Uh, what is it? Um... Denial, bargain, anger... Depression and acceptance, right? Tomorrow will be the right moment. Tomorrow will be better, even if today is hell. Visual seed. A gorgeous white wedding dress shines through the neon gray artificial light of the evening. It is worn by a mannequin with a disassociated skeleton head. It seems to be a happy place. If not for the light, the mannequin stares at the outside while the purple laser grid cage holds it in. Sentence. Did we die wanting for the perfect day or were we never alive? Going dark when we put the good of our lives just in our expectations. We can dismiss the present. Wait, waiting for the dawn we know will arrive. The future becomes a shopping cart. It needs a bit of this, it needs a bit of that, a few kilograms of that, and also a couple of boxes of another this. When we look at it, it shines like a, the brand new day in a commercial. As it happens with commercials, when the future comes, it's not exactly perfect. The smile is forced, the day is too hot or too cold, the kiss is dry, the lion limps softly and doesn't roar. As long as something is not here, but is pushed for further along the line timeline we have the luxury to take it off of reality and treat it as a fantasy we push forward and we push forward until we actually catch up with our dream and then we crush the future should not feel like a cage not even a gilded wonderful handmade designer cage the future is a tree gnarled rough to the touch full of flowers only in spring dense and damp through the rain absolutely imperfect these cards are so interesting. They're it's like I always think that they're gonna be something else, but it's like nah. Anyway, let's go ahead, Taurus. Okay, so what do we got for your situate? Well, not that energy. My bad. The Emperor Reverse could be an Aries you're involved with. I'm gonna be so mad, but no, oh, whatever. The situation is the Ten of Wands. Let's see. Wants and wishes. Two of pentacles reverse. No options. What? Obstacle and challenge is the sun reverse. Let's see. Fears and rejections. The past. There's something about the past that you're fearing and rejecting. Probably from childhood, Taurus. And Crosswatcher, of course. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is how it starts. This is how it'll end. 
Possibly with you, Taurus, offering something. If not you, then somebody else. Also, Leo or Gemini right here. Aries. Hmm. Let's see. Taurus. Okay, so someone could be really fucking hard-headed. Want to keep somebody bound and shit by something. And it causes the obstacle, which is like this unhappiness between two people who are actually really uh, pretty good together. Right? And that could stem from something from childhood. Um, not in a bad way, but it's like... Eh, it, entertainment, I guess? Like, that's how you entertained yourself as a kid? Um, we have the burden over here in the situation where it's really heavy. This dude's just walking around carrying sticks. No reason. You think he'd take his jacket off and wrap it around the sticks and then carry it like a backpack. But no. Let me use his arms. It's okay. Um, let's not encourage him to think. Right? He is a beast after all. <coughs> That's <coughs> the burden. <coughs> but that burden is also, um leading to a lack of understanding what options to really take. And then we have somebody trying to offer something, slowly but surely. Mm. What is my... Okay, that's just my house. Okay. So let's see, Taurus. We got... With the Emperor. This is how this person feels good. Literally. But that's a dumbass thing to do. It's it's actually a really shady thing. Um, this person dreams of being in, in like total complete control, total domination, total adaptivity um, about everything. Okay. Did you get the Mountain Dew? I'll go back for it. I'm like, I, <laughs> I figured you did. It's cool. But yeah, it's like um. This person's living a dream that'll never happen. It's just like, I am controller of my world. And it makes them feel light and happy on the inside. But it's like they're living in a fucking daydream. Not even a really good one either. Because, like, everybody else has to deal with their shit. With the situation with the Ten of Wands, right? Here's the Emperor just back turned. That box might catch on fire. Because, you know, who knows what that is. I'm not really sure what that box is. It's just a weird looking square. Either way, that's probably gonna catch on fire, because he's just like, well, I don't need that shit no more, fuck it. You know. But being a total, like, control freak, well, not a control freak, but just a little baby. You know, when a baby has a rattle, it just looks like, wham, shaking and shit. That's what this reminds me of. But it's like they're acting like a man-child with it. They need to face their fears, Leo or the, uh, de or the devil, so Capricorn as well. Um... They need to face their fears, even though they don't want to with this Ten of Wands scenario. Or else, whatever world they're believing in, Taurus, is not going to come to be. And then they're going to be all in their feelings and just being like, Pfft, and then kicking cat litter in your direction. Like, not literally, but just doing the whole motion like a kitty would. I don't know. Like, one of these days I'll show you guys. But it's like, they, they act like they're kicking litter on you. <laughs> so this Ten of Wands right here. Yeah, someone wants to escape... Someone definitely wants to escape this crazy, crazy person who thinks that they control everything. Okay. I love, you. love you. Damn. Um, yeah, so... This guy is a problem for you, for sure. You need an escape plan. That's what you... Okay. Wants and wishes, not knowing what options to take. You feel like there's no communication, nothing of real value being established in this scenario. Nothing's actually being fruitfully made. And you really don't want to get into a fight over all this shit, Taurus. It's just like, no, fuck this. This is way too much bullshit. Why am I dealing with this bullshit? This is ridiculous. I have better things to do, you know? the oh my god obstacles and challenges sun reverse you guys just aren't happy with each other anymore you probably want to know why or what the fuck is going on this dude might even try to come back and ask you what is up with it you know not really looking for any reason to justify it though 
Like, there's no justification for looking. Huh. It's like, if you're trying to fight for this, um, Taurus and Cross Watcher, um, do you even have a reason to? Like, do you have a reason to try to spy and look up information on somebody who makes you feel like you're trapped and you need to escape because they control everything? And just because it makes them feel better, even though it's a fucked up thing to do? You know? Okay, box, whatever. <laughs> Alright, fears and rejections with the Six of Cups, right? Someone might ride off in the huff because that's what's emotion huh like act like they're in the dark about feelings and such right Taurus this could be you having your back turned as well all nettled and stuff <laughs> yeah this is something you probably learned from when you were a kid you just shut off emotions and turn your back and then you're gonna be slow with like um whatever it is you're trying to offer here but what you're offering is like hopefully a fucking reason because I don't see a reason for you to wonder mm. I don't know Taurus like as a fellow work sign I have to say you can be intimidating with your tactics like you know how to push people to do it to do what you want them to do especially the males and it's like, mmm. I mean, I can get along with Taurus perfectly fine. Like, you guys are the friends of the Zodiacs. But it's like, if you get in a Taurus's way, oh my fucking god, you best be prepared. <laughs> At least Capricorn just piss you off. Uh, Alright. First off, you need to have passion in order to make this offer. Here's a book. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't idolize this person as much as you want to. In fact, I think you're kind of confused about why you liked him in the first place. You know, realizing that, like, oh, maybe it was all in my goddamn head. It wasn't the real world. Look at that shit, right? But they got you scared. You know? Um, and that's how they have their position and rule. And if they don't get that shit, oh boy. Oh boy. Do they come out with some harsh shit? <laughs> But you have to have some passion, man. And I feel like you just don't know what to do emotionally, Taurus. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you need to, um... Chill with, I guess. Well, not even chill. It's like... Hmm. It's like, um... Alright, Taurus. Think of it this way. If you were watching your friends go through this exact same scenario, what would you tell them? You know? It's one of those things where it's like, you have to think of it like you're a person who's watching your friend go through it. I think before you can actually sit there and think, oh, well, it's reasonable. I, I, like, it's, it's, it's like they're in love, you know? Like, all right, but he gave her a black eye. Oh, well, you know, like, you gotta look at all the pros and the cons in it. Like, you know, fuck love. If you love this person, that's great. But you can love them from a distance. A thousand miles away, to be specific. Because that's usually how that goes, you know? Like, mm. But I feel like you want to hang on to somebody, you know, for future reference a little bit. Up here with the energy. You really want to make it work with this guy. You just want to share stuff with him. Be his empress. But you'd be, and that was definitely you, Taurus. Like, you just want to raise ducks. You want to be proud of your fucking ducks. Look at her face. She's all happy with her ducks, right? That's what you want to do, but at the same time, dude, it's like... Mmm. This is either you or the person you're dealing with, but like... I think he does enjoy having you as his empress. But I don't know if you're enjoying it. Oh dear. In the situation, someone's being haunted by a guilty conscience, I feel like, and they gotta fight that shit in the form of a lizard monster. And that's what haunts them a lot. It's like, hmm. Taurus, are you feeling bad about getting out of a bad relationship? Because you don't have to. 
Like, if you don't want to be in a relationship, you don't have to stay. Like, you, like, if nobody told you that, I'm telling you right now, you don't have to be in a relationship if it doesn't make you feel good. Don't ever believe that you have to stay somewhere because you're obligated. You aren't, you don't have to do shit, okay? Like, ever. In the wants and wishes... Queen of Swords. She does not give a fuck that there's a butterfly there. She's just like, fuck my spirit animal. I'm still stabbing you. Right? When you come to make that offer. Dude, this person might be crazy. Mm. Or they think you're crazy. It's like, Queen of Swords, oh, I'm cutting you down. And then you come back and it's just like, here, I'm sorry. Like, this is like almost the back and forth kind of thing, man. Like, it's, to be honest, I can't tell if, like, you're doing this out of instinct or if they're doing this to you to make you feel like you need to give something to them in order to make up for it, which, no, you don't. Don't give them shit. They're coming off on you, like, cutting you down, and that's the way that they get shit from you. Like, that's terrible. Like, they shouldn't be cutting you down or any of that shit. At the same time, I hope you're not cutting people down and then coming back with something to make them feel special afterwards. Because that's kind of abusive. That's like gaslighting almost and physical malformation, you know? Okay, so the obstacle and challenge. What comes up after this? Death, Scorpio's card, everyone's dying, people are on the ground, um, child's dead, the priest is, everybody's dead, everybody's dead, and then, and death is like, yeah, ACDC, you know, <laughs> let's see, yeah, death comes because someone's just tired of carrying this, um, burden right here, they want to take a nap, they want to take a break from it. Like, and that might be what you have to do, Taurus. You might just have to cut your losses and be like, nah, man, I, I can't do this anymore. Because I really feel like this person doesn't respect you the way that you need to be respected, honestly. Yeah, you can give them love all fucking day, and then they'll come and shoot it with a fucking arrow. Like, makes no damn sense, right? It's like they want you to settle down with them, but you gotta carry their shit. And then it's like, once you do, it's like they pull you... Mm -hmm. Hold on. It's like you moved in with them, and now every time you guys get into a fight, the pull you off your horse and stab you with your own sword when you try to defend yourself. It's almost like an abusive relationship, Taurus, and I don't like it. Let's see. Fears or rejections? Yeah, this person might just be... You might feel like you're getting hung up with this shit, brah. This might just be feeding into, like, something that's not cool, and it's causing you to feel like there's nowhere else to go. Which is terrible, you know. Like, you might be in limbo because you don't have anywhere to go. That's a shame. It really is. Uh, Alright. How this shit starts, how it'll end, right? What comes up after this? And mm, you're done. You gotta dump those cups. You, you, well, at least that one that came from the sky. And just be like, no! I am done, you know? I've been sitting here staring at this dude this entire time wondering shit. Hmm. Pull one more. Yeah, like, you have to pour your cup out because you start looking at this person, realizing what was going on, and then you, like, just slam the door on them, Taurus. You already... I think you already understand you gotta get away from this person because you are the Empress, of course, but your Emperor is kind of a dick, you know? So let's get away from him because he needs a nap or some shit, right? But... That's your reading for this time, Taurus, or at least this cycle. Anyway, um, if you guys like this, you may like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course, but I'd greatly appreciate it.
why because you're awesome fuck peeps that's why but i will see you later love your face bye bye